The 49ers QB room is terrible. I got up early today, hopped in the shower, started washing my hair. Everything was going well until a nerve struck. <sighs> I just started thinking about the 49ers quarterback situation, and now I'm here making this video. I was told that Brock Purdy is special. Took over in that game against the Dolphins, 10 straight victories undefeated. Gave me all the hope, all the joy that a man could ask for in the world. Good quarterback play. That's all I needed. Then in the NFC Championship game, he loses his elbow because we could not protect. Fast forward to training camp today. I saw a report yesterday that Brock Purdy has thrown 10 interceptions this training camp. 10. And you may be thinking to yourself, you know, it's the 49ers defense, right? This is one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the NFL. But, um, he threw three against the Raiders in a joint practice. Name me three Raiders DBs right now. Go ahead. You can't. He had two interceptions in today's practice with another potential interception dropped. Like I said earlier, he hasn't lost a game, all right? The game, he hasn't lost. Practice, he's terrible, apparently, but the game, he hasn't lost. Hey, Lance, uh, he's just sorry. I don't know if it's because he lost his knee or if he's played three games since JV. I don't know why. He just does not look good. Now, the last video I made, I was talking about trading Lance, just cutting bait. I saw three types of comments that really really bothered me these three types of comments really told me that either you guys did not watch the game or you're just trying to piss me off the first comment was oh but he was 10 for 15 112 yards one touchdown zero interception listen because you didn't watch the game here was the touchdown that he threw okay you see that? That was his only touchdown against the Raiders. And as a bonus, here was his throw at the end of the half. Yeah, I don't know what he was looking at either. Like I said, I don't know if it's his knee. I don't know if he's shaking off rust. But he looks like he's a 12-year-old. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Second type of comment. The O-line didn't give him time. Now, the 49ers O-line deserves a completely separate video at a separate time when I'm healthy enough and happy enough to talk about them because they just give me depression but this applies to all the quarterbacks not just Trey Lance the O-line is going to be bad this year okay let me restate this statement Trent Williams is one person Aaron Banks is one person Jake Brendel is like half of an O-line and then the right side is just not it's not there there's no there's no right side so we have two and a half O-line right guard Right tackle are the reasons why the 49ers have three quarterbacks. It is a death wish to play quarterback for the 49ers right now. So yes, you're right. The O-line needs to give him more time. That is true. But guess what? None of the quarterbacks are going to get time this year. So it's basically a simulation of what's about to happen. The third type of comment. <sighs> Hefe, it's just preseason. This type of comment to me grinds my gears it just makes no sense at all if it's preseason isn't he playing against the backups aka the shitters i don't know if it's because you guys don't follow this team as much as i do or if you guys have the memory of like a goldfish do you know the injury history of this team let me give you guys an example all right third round pick that we drafted this year cameron latu out of alabama tight end first preseason game against the raiders fumbles he will be playing in week 15 because George Kittle just loves to injure his groin. If you search George Kittle injury history on Google right now, there are websites that tell you 90% chance that he's going to get injured. 90% that he's going to pull his groin again. Now, in the midst of all this Trey Lance hate, which I think is fairly justified, a comment really stood out to me. It is a comment by Michael Lombardi when his mama lifted him from the crib. He just didn't have the quarterback instinct. That's gotta be racist. I'm sorry, that has to be racist. There's no way. And then we're left with Sam 
and Brandon Allen. I'm not sure this QB room is as good as people think it is, especially for this year. Now we kind of have to have a QB room like this because of how our roster is constructed. We have so many star players in other positions that are getting paid. Nick Bosa's contract's coming out, which I will be making a video. We have to have rookie quarterbacks or cheap quarterback deals to keep this team stacked the way it is. So, so it's just unfortunate. Before I go though, I want to address one more thing. All right, the worst accounts that I've seen on Twitter ever since this QB room controversy started stirring up are the Jimmy Garoppolo stance. The accounts that say we should have kept Jimmy Garoppolo are actually cancer. First of all, three years, $73 million. We're not paying that for a backup quarterback. And I just don't understand, like how many more jail balls do you need to see? We know he's got no clutch gene, all right? No nut sack, can't throw a deep post. Like what, what are we doing? This Saturday, this is it Trey Lance. You play like how you played against the Raiders, there's a league in Japan called the X League. That might be where you're at. Let me know what you guys think about our QB situation in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys Saturday.